Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start assembling your hydraulic claw through a series of three videos. For the first video here, we're going to assemble the base and the column. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's come on up and start a new design. And when we start a assembly, the first thing we always want to do is save it. So I'm going to call it claw assembly. Um, and I'm going to call it video. And I'm going to save it here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and now open up my data panel here. And I'm going to come back to my video files that I've been making for you guys. And then I'm going to find my base. And right here on my platform foundation here, I'm going to right click insert into current design. All right, and I'm just going to rotate it here 90 degrees and select OK. All right, next thing we're going to do now is go ahead and insert our M3 by 10 millimeter countersink bolt. And one thing worth noting is please make sure that you have all of your hydraulic claw files here in your data panel before you start this. All right, so I'm going to right click insert into current design and I'm going to go ahead now and just move it up. And I'm looking for that countersink hole. Okay, we're good. The countersink hole's here. Hopefully you see that cone shape there. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And now I'm just going to go ahead and assemble this guy. I'm going to use a joint. I'm going to use a rigid joint. So make sure it says rigid. I'm going to click on that circle and click on that circle and select OK. All right, and now I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, but this time I'm gonna use a different size bolt. All right, so now in this cone shaped countersink hole, we wanna insert our M3 by 30 countersink bolt. So I'm gonna right click, insert into current design. And just like last time, I'm gonna use a rigid constraint. So I'm gonna rotate it. Okay, kinda of get it into position here. Select okay, come on up to assemble, joint, okay use a rigid joint and I'm going to click right there and there we go select OK all right now we're going to flip it over okay and I'm going to click on this corner right here so that these two screws are protruding upwards I'm going to right click on home I'm going to set current view as fixed distance okay all right and before we move on it's important I'm going to go ahead and right click and we're going to ground our foundation here so it will not move all right it's very important that all right, now we're going to go ahead and right click here on our rotating base part and we're going to insert into current design. And I'm going to rotate it so that the countersink holes, let me move it up here, are on the bottom. So it's very important these countersink holes are on the bottom, all right, which they are. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Now I'm going to come to my, uh, my M3 by 25 countersink bolt and I'm going to insert that into current design. And I'm going to rotate it so it's positioned like this. Okay. And I'm going to move it up so it's kind of close here. Select OK. Let's go ahead and assemble it. Assemble joint. And we're going to use, once again, a rigid joint. And we're going to select that circle and it should go with the, that circle. Select OK. All right, looking good. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and put our rotating base on this screw right here. So let's go ahead and assemble that. Let's do a joint. However, this time we're going to use a revolute joint. OK, so let's go to position again. And I'm going to click. Uh, let's see here. Well, let's go ahead and click this part first. Let's click that circle we know goes with that circle and select OK. Now we have this rotating base that can rotate around. All right, and then the next thing we want to do now is come to our M3 nut and we want to put our nut on our screw. So let's go ahead and insert into current design. Same thing we've been doing. I'm going to rotate it 
uh, 90 degrees. Select OK. It's going to assemble joint. I'm going to click that circle to that circle. Nope. Let's try that again. That circle goes to this circle right there and select OK. All right, so now we have this rotating base that kind of moves around like such. OK, looking pretty good. I'm going to select the home button. All right, so now we want to find our syringe fixture. And remember, these are going to, we're going to mount our syringes to this. So, and we want the one that's shorter in size. We made two of them, if you recall. There's one that's longer and there's one that's shorter. So let's go ahead and uh, insert this one into our design. I'm going to just kind of move it up here and rotate it so it has kind of a, a position like this. Hit OK. And then I'm going to come on up to my M3 by 12 millimeter bolt. I'm going to right click insert into current design. I'm going to once again move it up. Something like that is good. And I want the bolt to go onto this hole right here. So I'm going to assemble that. I'm going to go to joint, click on that hole or circle. And then click on this hole. Hit OK. Oh, and we don't want to, let's go to the joint. We don't want to make that revolute. We want to make it rigid. OK, very important. So go to OK. Now let's go ahead and insert our M3 nut. Move it up and over. Select OK. And then we're going to go to Assemble and Joint. And then I'm going to click here. And then click right there. OK. And we're good. And once again, we don't want to make that revolute. I got to change the default here. Motion should be rigid. OK. All right. And you could, if it's a revolute, it's not going to matter really, okay? Because I mean, in reality, it does spin, okay? So we have this part sort of bolted on, and now we got to attach it to our foundation or base here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now let's go ahead and assemble a joint. And this time we do want a revolute joint, but this time, okay, we want to go ahead, instead of selecting this hole, we're going to move it around and we're going to select this hole, and it's going to go right here. Okay, so we have this part that kind of can swivel around there. Okay, go ahead and select OK. And you go ahead and test it out and we should be good. Okay, looks good. All right, so now we got to go ahead and assemble our syringe. And that can be a little tricky, but not impossible. So we're going to come on down here to um, our syringe housing. Right click, insert into current design. Okay, and we're going to come on over here. And we're going to just rotate that guy something like this and move it up so we can see it okay and it's always good just to kind of rotate it into position so it looks like it's going to kind of fall into place okay something like that's pretty good I'm going to go ahead and select OK okay and then I'm going to do a joint again and I'm going to select a rigid joint okay and I want to go ahead now and make sure this circle right here matches up with, well, that circle right there. Select OK. So now we kind of have this syringe part that can move around. OK. All right. Looking pretty good. I'm going to select the home button here. And now let's go ahead and insert our columns. OK. I'm going to do one at a time. And I'm going to rotate this guy over like so. OK. I'm going to move him up so it's above it, a little higher and then over here so it's situated as such and we know that this column here is going to go into this slot right here so we got to think about so we know this corner right here 
corresponds with this corner or vice versa. So I'm going to go ahead now and use a joint, a rigid joint. Okay. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to use this midpoint and see if I can get it to show up. So right there. goes to right there. Okay, looks good. So I got one column already in there. That's good. Okay. And now let's do the other one. Come on over to column, right click, insert into current design. Okay, I'm going to rotate this guy roughly 180 degrees, move him up. Okay, into position. That looks pretty good. Select OK, and I like those midpoints. So I'm going to come back to Assemble Joint, and I know that that midpoint matches up with that midpoint, and we're looking good. Okay, so we got our two columns in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the column connector piece. So let's insert that into the design and get it into position here. So I'm going to move it up, out a little ways, and rotate it around, not that direction. Whoa, it's nowhere near I thought it was. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this guy once again with the rigid joint. And I really like using those midpoints, so I'm gonna click on this midpoint right there. And I know it corresponds to that midpoint right there. We're looking good, hit okay. Okay, so when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. All right, I wanna to go to the home position. All right, now it's going to get a little tricky because we got to do our plunger here. And I'm going to move my plunger so that it's kind of like over here. And then, yeah, I'm going to kind of move it so that it's sort of in position. Something like that, okay? And I'm going to come over to now my... Uh, plunger syringe and I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into design and once again I'm gonna kind of rotate it here so that it's in position as you should always do and now I'm gonna get it close to this bolt right here so it's kind of close but not touching here okay I'm, I'm gonna select OK and we want to basically put this cylinder on our bolt here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's, but we're gonna use, this time we're gonna use a revolute joint. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and select that circle. And I know it goes to that circle. Okay, however, I'm gonna offset the Z a little bit. Let's maybe do like 0.2 inches up. I'm sorry, let's do minus 0.2. Mm, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and select OK. And you see how this is a little too high right here? So I'm going to right click, edit joint, and let's change it maybe back to 0.1. And that looks pretty good. OK, now we're pretty close to being matched up there. OK, but we're not quite done yet because we need to add a joint between the syringe housing here in the syringe plunger. So let's, okay, so I'm gonna kind of, well, let's get a good view here. That's pretty good. I'm gonna move it like that. And I'm gonna move my plunger, well, maybe not like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna do what's called an as-built joint. So we're gonna go to assemble and we're gonna do an as-built joint. And an as-built joint is between two components. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the two components. Now that we have them placed where we want them, okay, we're gonna click on the two components and then specify the type of joint we wanna use. So I'm gonna to go to as-built joint. 
I'm going to select slider, okay, and I'm going to select on uh, the syringe housing here in the syringe plunger, and then it's saying, hey, what type of joint, where do you want this joint? And I'm going to click it right, I'm going to click on this cylinder right here, and then and that's basically the movement I want, and I'm going to select OK. Okay, looks pretty good. So now when I rotate my base, right, it moves with it. And later on, you can add some joint limits. We're not going to bother with them right now to save time. Okay, in other words, joint limits will stop right there, and it will stop right there. Okay, which we can maybe go back later and do them later when we have time, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and move on. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and put an M3 nut on top of our syringe plunger here so it doesn't come off. So we're going to go to assemble joint and we're going to do a rigid joint. And I want that circle. matches up with that circle. Select OK. OK. All right. Now our syringe is bolted on and it's not going anywhere. All right. And we have this rotation working just like we want it to. OK. Looks pretty good. I'm going to select the home button and we're going to move on. All right. I'm also going to turn off some of the visibility of these joints just to make it easier for you guys to see and make it less confusing here. OK. The next thing we want to do now is we want to put a 50 millimeter M3 bolt through here, through these two holes. So let's go ahead and come on down to our M3 by 50 millimeter bolt. Right click, insert into current design. We're going to come on up and we're going to just kind of rotate it into or move it into place as we always do. That's pretty good. Okay, now. I'm going to go ahead and do a rigid joint. And I know that this circle right here corresponds to that circle right there. I'm going to select OK. And now we're going to go ahead and put a, an M3 bolt on there. So I'm going to right click, insert into, or nut, excuse me, bolt. We just inserted the bolt. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to select OK, come to assemble, joint. And once again, that circle we know goes on to this circle. Okay, and now we're bolted on and secure. Okay, our column isn't going anywhere. And when you actually make this, if you make this and you laser cut it, you're going to want some tension on this bolt right here so your column is held in place. All right, so get this bolt. This is the one bolt you kind of want a little tighter than most. In fact, I'd recommend maybe even using a lock nut. Okay. All right. Looking good. Now let's go ahead and repeat this process. Now we want to go ahead and do a, a 50 millimeter bolt down here as well as a 50 millimeter bolt up here. So I'm going to do this quickly. All right. And kind of let you guys just watch. Okay. Because it's basically the same process that I just did. Now let's go ahead and put some M3 nuts on there.
All right, so we got three M3, uh, three. M3 by 50 millimeter bolts and like I said this one you're gonna want a little tension too okay so you want to get this bolt on there pretty tight because it'll keep these two pieces from coming loose down here okay alright so now our columns almost complete we do need to add a syringe down here and we need to add the next set of arms okay. alright now let's come on down here to our syringe fixture not the short one but the longer one we're going to go to insert into current design. We're going to lift it up. Okay, and over. Whoop, let me get a better view here. I'm going to rotate it around so it looks something like that. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and place this piece onto our bolt. So let's go ahead and assemble that joint. Okay, I know that this. This circle right here corresponds with, there it is, right there, okay? But we want to make it a revolute joint, okay? So this thing can go up and down freely, okay? And it's not because it's moving right now, but I can ground it and move it later, okay? because we're going to place another syringe in there in just a second. All right. So the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and add a little M3 bolt through here. Okay. So we're going to come on down or up to a M3 by 12 millimeter bolt insert. Okay. I'm going to do a rigid joint and I know that this circle right here corresponds with that circle right there and then let's go ahead and put a nut on the other end looks good I'm going to zoom in here assemble joint do a rigid joint again most of it's going to be rigid joints for this and the nice thing is rigid joints are easy right there okay looking good all right now okay we're going to come on down to our syringe housing insert into current design have it go up and over and up a little more so we got something that looks like this so once again we're going to use a rigid joint we know that this circle right here corresponds with that circle right there hit OK Okay, looking good. I'm going to move it out of the way here. And one thing I noticed we forgot to do was add an M3 nut right here on this M3 bolt. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's right click insert into current design and move it over and assemble this guy. I believe it's the last thing we need to do. I'm going to rotate it around. Kind of move it down just a little further into place. Select OK. Go to assemble joint. Make sure it's a rigid joint. Let's put that there. Rotate it around. Click there and select OK. All right. And we're looking pretty good. All right, that'll do it for this tutorial. In the next videos, we'll do two more sub assemblies and then do a final sub assembly. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.